What's up, everyone? Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mark Chinoa from my so good see Black Bell, five time world champ, big boss. Guys, welcome back. If you're aware to subscribe, if you're not subscribed, please consider to subscribe and don't miss the latest video in this channel. And please help me grow that channel, sharing that video, like, and and that's what that this video made for you guys. So thank you for all the support. Okay, so on the last one today, I'm gonna show you guys a few uh, options of the triangle escape. Can be very brutal, right? So I'm not gonna say it's it's easy, right? But there is fundamental towards the triangle escape angles, right? Everything that we do in Jiu Jitsu is about angles, okay? So in this case, that triangle, the person finish because the leg is so strong. That case, the, the person finish triangle because they pull your head down. There's so many cases, right? But understand the uh, the foundation of the triangle. When he lock. Before he lock, you need to get the hip to the side and then get the angle. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple options right here and hope helps you guys. Okay, but keep in mind, there's always chance to prevent. Don't let get there. I was. Uh, it's funny because a lot of people say, "Oh, what's the best case for this?" Don't get there. That's the easiest answer. But never. And it's not always happened that way. So from here, I'm gonna let Matt go for triangle. Before we continue on the lesson today, make sure you subscribe the channel, like the videos, and comment below. I appreciate your support. Big O's. So look, you go for the triangle right here. Boom, he locks, it's tight. If you let him cross, understand about uh, the, the, the angle right here. If you cross the arm completely side, now it's gonna be hard for me to go, okay? So when the triangle happens, let's understand a little bit here. If my arm goes under my chin, it's gonna be super hard to escape because look my voice. You see my voice started getting weird. So if my arm is over my head in front of my face, now I can, believe it or not, I can rest a little bit longer, okay? But once again, it's not guaranteed I'm gonna be longer, okay? So he wants my arm here, okay? I like to feel the bone um, with my elbow, the bone of his hip. On this side, he gets stronger. I wanted the opposite side, boom, right there. So now, you guys can see it. I want the shoulder showing up. So our first option for here, I'm gonna go with my hands right there on his pants, make a good grip, boom, okay? So now it's gonna be hard for Matt to try cross my arm in, to try cross my arm. It's gonna be super hard. So now what this hand does, I wanna look up. Now this hand goes right here, climb and get to the right on top of his knee, okay? You can do this, or you can go up, okay? Or, really lock, really lock. Yes, now it's locked. Or you can hold the knee and now look away. I wanna start pointing away from my elbow. Now from here, you pop back out or back into the close guard. Okay, as long as your elbow is on the way, on the opposite side. I want to go here. I want to open up this space. I don't want to go back here. It's tight. So lock it tight as you can. Yes, now it's tight. So you guys can see my voice a little bit weird. My elbow start going that way. Now I'm gonna start breathe a little bit. Okay. So let's go for another one that I really like right here. My arm swing on this side. Boom. Connect your hands right here, lock, okay? So now, same thing, I wanna go away, I wanna drive myself to the opposite side, boom, right there. So from here, he locks, boom, yes. My arm on this side, connect your hand from behind, now my head goes there. I wanna start moving my head down this way, boom. But Marcos, what happened here is, he can go for the, the old platter. Yes, he can. What I wanted to do, when he go for the triangle, lock tight, swing the arm there, boom. My hand goes here, uh, uh, sorry, my hand goes here, I wanna push that way. My head stays on the mat, block the bottom leg. Go for the triangle. He can't. Why he cannot go to triangle? Because he cannot turn his hip. If I let go, he turn. Uh, he go back to the triangle or go for the, Yes, he go for the platter. 
if I keep this leg here, he can't, he's stuck. And I step over there and go fast. Okay? So another up that I really like from here. Yes. What I want to do here, I want to pants, pants. I want to look away. I want to push his hip down. Don't let his hip turn. Okay? So from here, he goes there. Nice. What I want to do, open my elbow, make a grip on the pants, lock your elbows in. Now, what I want to do here, look at my knees, right in the middle. Now from here, I'm going to start looking up and open the guard, with, open the triangle with my knee in the middle. Big mistake a lot of people does, in my humble opinion. Line the triangle and do this. Now I'm stuck. I need to do the opposite. I need to drop my hip and look up. And now the train is there. Okay? So there's so many options. But once again, when the person has strong legs and a good angle, you just have to remain calm. It's not like once I do believe once they lock 100 percent it's really hard to get out, right? But this is just an option. If you don't know anything, start building up the confidence from that, okay? So, he locks. There, tight. Open your elbow so you breathe. Now, grips. Look at my leg. Throw it. Now, sit. Lock. Hang out. Don't rush. Because that's the problem. Once you hit, I push myself back. Now, start getting out. Come back up and do whatever you want. But don't give it a chance to first do a triangle because it's gonna be hard. As in another position, like when you gotta have a really tight armbar, it's hard to bring the arm back. So you have to understand, like try avoid as much as you can, but sometimes you kind of slip on the connection and then you, you miss it, okay? So those are the options that I really like it. Uh, it's better than nothing. I, I'm telling you guys, nah, let get super tight, otherwise you're gonna get attacked no matter what. So this just to warn you guys what possibility they can do it to avoid, to, to watch out. Because any attack I do believe comes with a defensive. If you guys start focusing and get comfortable, comfortable with escape, those are good options to get. But never let like get tight, open. Okay, so for example here, he goes there, he go for the triangle here. Right away, my arm goes there. Now I'm gonna start looking the away. So from here, there, my knee can come in the middle. Now my knee is outside, he cannot close again. So it's gonna be hard. So this hand cannot be free. Lock, lock. Now from here, oh, what happened? He hug this arm, hug the, on, the, on the hook, on the hook. Now he underhook this arm, doesn't matter. My knee is blocking, okay? And I'm gonna look away from him. So if he's here, block there. So hip away, swing around, okay? So those are the options that just to warn you guys, the beginners to watch out because once they lie, it's gonna be tough, okay? So just watch out for that. So I hope you guys, that, that really helps you guys a little bit just to give you a heads up what's out there in a triangle escape, okay? So there's a variety of uh, options to escape. And this is one of my favorite, stay, remain calm. Don't let collapse, go out. Keep your elbow away from your head, like in this opposite direction. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Please help uh, uh, share, comment, like the videos and help grow the channel, okay? So thank you so much. And if you guys like to check it out my instructions of WG Fanatics, I'm gonna put the link right here. So go check it out. It's gonna help you elevate your game really, really good. Okay, so thank you so much.